Before we get into actual nuts and bolts of migrating to the multi-tenant architecture, it's probably worth a quick recap of the basics of what this architecture means and why you should be thinking about migrating to it. This kind of ties into the first seminar in our series about release process and patching, and also the most recent one when we talked about deprecated versus desupported parameters. In the 21C documentation, you'll see this note saying that the non-CDB architecture was deprecated in Oracle Database 12C and that it is desupported as of 21C. What does that mean? Well, it means when 12C was released way back in January of 2014, believe it or not, seven years ago, we did make clear that we were moving towards this multi-tenant architecture as the foundation for Oracle Database. So we've given seven years of preparation and put in a lot of functional, functional enhancements and so on into multi-tenant. And now with 21C, it's finally time to make that leap and make multi-tenant the one and only Oracle database architecture. So what does that mean for you right now? Well, if you're going to 19C, just be aware that 19C does support the non-CDB architecture, but it is the last release that will support non-CDBs. And this means that, for example, when we migrate to 21C, you won't be upgrading a non-CDB and then converting it to 21C. You're going to have to convert to the multi-tenant architecture before you get to 21. And there are various ways to do that, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Now, when it comes to licensing, there have been some changes over the years for multi-tenant. Included in all of our offerings, by which I mean standard edition and enterprise edition on cloud and on-premises, you can always have at least one pluggable database. That was the rule for 12.1, for 12.2 and 18, one pluggable database with no extra license needed, regardless of edition. Long about a little over a year ago, we actually enhanced this for 19C to say that you can have up to three pluggable databases for standard edition or enterprise edition without requiring the multi-tenant option. And when we say three pluggable databases, we mean three user created pluggable databases. So that's exclusive of the pluggable database seed, which we use for uh, provisioning, and also doesn't count the CDB root. So three of your application or development or test pluggable databases without having to get the multi-tenant option. So this gives you a taste of consolidation and the advantages of multi-tenant uh, without having to pay for that extra option. Now, if you don't want to get into the multi-tenant option, which means more than three pluggable databases in a container, you can set this system parameter, and that way no one will mistakenly create that fourth or fifth pluggable database, not realizing that it would take them into extra license territory, because as we'll show you, creating a pluggable database is awfully easy. Now, in the multi-tenant option, if you are going to pay for that extra option and do really large scale consolidation to take advantage of, of the things that we'll talk about, well, there are again, some distinctions there. If you're on premises with enterprise edition on non-engineered systems, you can have up to 252 pluggable databases in a container with the multi-tenant option. And as I mentioned, that is an extra cost option on Oracle database. If you're on Exadata or ODA, Oracle Database Appliance, you can actually push that even further, all the way up to 4K, 4,096 pluggable databases in a container if you want to. And the same is true in many of our cloud offerings, Exadata Cloud Service and the high and enterprise edition or extreme performance edition in the cloud. Now you might say, well, gee, will I really get more than 252 pluggable databases in a container. And in many cases that might not make sense, but I can tell you right up front, in our autonomous environment, we often run with 300 to 800 PDBs in a single container because it provides so many uh, advantages of economies of scale. 